And welcome back to Idaho Today. Boise has such a vibrant art scene from the towering murals in downtown to Freak Alley to the Idaho Modern Art Museum. And another gallery showcases local artists. It's the James Castle House, offering artists a chance to have residency. So here with us, we have Mackenzie Dunstan and local artist Emily Culver to tell us all about this. I was so excited to hear about this. I have to admit, I've grown up in this community mm -hmm. and the James Castle House is actually new to me. Yeah. So explain the James Castle House to us. Yeah, so I think to explain the James Castle House, we have to introduce James Castle. Okay. Right? So James Castle was an Idaho artist. He was a deaf man, he was a self-taught artist, and he lived and worked in Boise for over 40 years, uh, oh, wow. generating a massive body of artwork uh, that is not only still here locally in our local museums and galleries, um, but as far as the Smithsonian and galleries and museums all across the world. Wow. Um, so really an incredible view into daily life in Idaho and a really imaginative, creative person. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so what is the James Castle House then? Yeah, so the James Castle House uh, was his residence for those 40 years that he was in Boise. Um, it's operated, uh, now managed by the uh, Boise City Department of Arts and History. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a cultural site and museum where we offer um, exhibitions, talks, workshops, and other programs, including our Artists in Residence program. Okay, which leads us to... Yeah. So tell us about this about the Artist in Residence program. Yeah. What is it? And then I would love to hear about your Absolutely. artwork. Absolutely. Yes. Of course. So um, our Artist in Residence program is a chance for emerging and mid-career artists to actually live and work on site at the James Castle House. Um, so they uh, apply to be a part of this program. There's a whole selection uh, committee uh, that happens to select artists to come and live and work. And they create a new body of work while they're here that's supposed to be inspired by Boise, our community, um, or the, the history and legacy of the site. Oh. Um, and that's how we end up with amazing artists like Emily who, who come from far away to come be at our space. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. you come from far away, how far away? Currently, I'm living in Virginia. So, okay, yes. all right. And then how did you hear about the James Castle um, Artist in Residence program? I heard about it through um, individuals who are part of the department. Uh -huh. And it seemed like an amazing opportunity and like such a wonderful gift of time and space to mm -hmm. be creative, which mm -hmm. in a day like today, you don't always get. Yeah, I yeah. absolutely agree. So tell us about your art, though. What type of art do you like to create? Absolutely. So I classify myself as a metalsmith. Mm -hmm. I make objects, sometimes jewelry, so I'm working with fire and hammers and sometimes computer-aided design, a whole oh, bunch wow. of stuff. Yes, so I've been, it's been a little um, chemistry workshop experiment back there in the artist in residency suite at the James Castle House. I love that. Okay, yeah. so you, you like to kind of get a little dirty in your oh, art, yes. right? You're, you're yeah. in there, it's kind of tactile, really, um, really hands-on. Well, what do you love so much about the art that you create? Um, you know, I love seeing how people interpret the work that I make. Yeah. It, they're very open objects. Mm -hmm. um, they are suggestive, but there's a lot of room for people to find themselves in the work. And so I always love hearing what others think of it and having those dialogues. That's yeah. my most favorite part. And what does the Artist in Residency program provide to you as an artist? What are you getting out of this? So much. I have an amazing mm -hmm. studio space with the best light ever. I have a wonderful little apartment that I've had all to myself, which has been amazing. And um, I've also had open studios and have been in dialogue with members of the community, which has been a really rewarding experience as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so then how do we go see your art? When are you going to be in residence? and when do we get to go see some of your displays? So, this is the perfect time because yeah. I'm oh, wrapping great. up my residency. <laughs> okay. And I will have a final exhibit. I'll have a talk on Friday, this upcoming Friday. Oh, really? And then the gallery will be open where people can come and see the work and maybe Fantastic. hold the work on Saturday. So. Okay, so Saturday. Okay, so Friday we get to hear from you. Saturday yes. we can come and see the work yes. uh, that you've been so wor you've been working so hard Toiling on. Toiling away on. Yes, yes. toiling. <laughs> that's the work. Toiling yes. away so hard on. All right, so for artists, though, in our yeah. community and then beyond who yes. might be interested in taking advantage of the program just as Emily has. Uh, how do they do that? Where do they go for more info? Yeah, so um, you can check out our website, jamescastlehouse.org. Um, we actually just closed our residency call for this upcoming year, um, okay. but we open it up annually, and we really do encourage uh, local and regional artists to apply because this space really is 
a incubator for creativity and we love to see the connection of our local artists with our local community while also bringing in artists from other places uh, to feed into our community even more. Absolutely, that opportunity for collaboration yes. only ins it, it gives more inspiration, right? Absolutely. A little more fuel to that fire um, and that's what I think everyone, especially artists, really thrive for, right? Agreed. Um, and then, so you had mentioned though you've closed for this year, yes. but when is the calendar date that usually opens so those watching who are inspired and they want to yeah. be a part of this can put it on the calendar and say, I'm going to keep an eye out for that. Yeah, so we typically open our call in the late spring or early summer okay. um, of every year. Got so it. and it's open for six to eight weeks, um, and then we close and go through that selection process. All right, yeah. excellent. Both of you, thank you so much. It's so exciting to have you here Happy and contributing to, be, yeah. to the, our local art as well with your outside influence. Very important. And thank you so much for offering this program. Uh, we just know that it's going to continue to grow um, as a gem here in our community.